Well, geez, we've had such a great day today. You know, I cornered you out there and said you're going to have to come in and tie up that fly that we're catching all the fish on. Uh, what is it called? Uh, it's a, we're going to tie up a, a maroon bead-headed coronament. Okay. Everybody make sure you have these materials ready before you tie this fly. We're going to tie the fly on a TMC 2457 size 12 scud pupil hook. We're going to use some ADOT maroon thread. We'll use some red copper wire for the tag, some maroon frostbite for the body. For the rib, we'll tie in some red copper wire. For the thorax, we'll use some peacock hurl, a silver tungsten bead for the bead, and some white antron for the gills. All right, let's uh, start with the tie. Okay, Don, we'll put a, lay down a base of maroon uh, tying thread okay. to start off with. Actually, we're just going to tie it in right at the head of the fly because we're going to slip on the uh, gills first and then the bead over that. Oh, okay. Then we're going to take our white antron, chop off a bit, and then pull some off. We want a pretty prominent uh, uh, white gills out front. Okay. So we're going to tie that in, trim it, and then we're going to and tie it off with a whip finisher. Okay. Take the fly out of the hook, and we've already debarbed the hook. Okay. So. And then we're going to slip the bead over in the tongue. The beads have got a wide end and a narrow end. You want to slide the, the wide end over first. Then we're going to re retie our maroon thread behind the bead. And because the material, the frostbite we're going to use is pretty thin. We're going to use the tying thread to build up the body a bit. Okay. Okay, then we're going to tie in our, uh, our, our pretty bright red copper wire. So Is that fine? Yeah, it's, it's the fine copper wire. Okay. And then we're going to take um, our frostbite and uh, pull. It's, it's a multi-stranded uh, filaments of plastic, that's all this. So we want to pull some of the strands out, give it a bit of a tug. Okay and it'll straighten out a little bit. And we're gonna tie it in at the end of the hook. And then we're just gonna work the frostbite body. Gives it a nice sparkly body, yep. doesn't it? You want, the reason why frostbite works so well is because it's, it gives a nice sheen to the fly, which imitates the gases that trap under the abdomen. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. So once that's finished, we've tied the fly off now behind the bead. We take our red copper wire, and you want to make three or four wraps as a tag okay. Okay, before you start the rib. And the rib is is going in in the opposite direction that the frostbite was wound okay. down. And I've got about seven or eight wraps here. And now we're ready just to, you could finish the fly now without a, a collar, but um, it's always nice to put a, a, bit of, a bit of a collar of the peacock just to imitate the hump that a pupa naturally have, the corona pupa naturally have. Oh, okay. And so we're just gonna tie that off. And so the, the beauty of this fly is that it's got a heavy bead, that tungsten bead sinks really yeah. fast. So the bead makes the fly sink fast. It's silver, it's quite shiny, and um, it's a bit of an attractant. And then having the bead, having a bead-headed fly, it's, the fly just undulates a little bit more. Yeah. Uh, when it's being retrieved. And it gets down there in a hurry. And it, you know, this is for people who don't want to wait. Yeah, exactly. Like wait. me. That's right. That's right. And then we just trim this, um, the antenna just, or the gill just a little bit and flare them. That's Excellent. the finished fly. Thanks for the tie. You're welcome, Don. Uh, why don't we take that one and, and get back out there? So maybe, maybe you could tie up a couple more. Yeah, I thought you were going to. The way I'm losing them. <laughs>